Hello everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Oxumoko and he is in the Des Moines ET10 US cruiser. He is on the map Shatter in a free point domination game mode. And well, it's obviously a tier 10 battle, quite a few tier 10s around. There is one carrier per team and there are two destroyers. Now equal number of destroyers is always nice to see in a domination game because destroyers can be very important. And, well, the friendly team decided to take point Alpha and Bravo. And it seems like everyone is complying. The ships from the right side are coming here towards the left. The carrier is... Well, I hope the carrier won't go too far on the right side. Uh, one destroyer is inside point Alpha already. And the other one is going towards point Bravo. Now, there is an airstrike incoming, but there are two Des Moines. Uh, defensive fire is going. Now, the planes are trying to stay quite a bit away from the Des Moines and the... Uh, they are probably trying to drop into the smoke against the Shimakaze, but well, they were not very successful. So, first airstrike defeated, and it looks like friendly team is getting point alpha. The enemy team has deployed a large force on the right side. Unfortunately for them, nobody is there to fight. So if the friendlies can get rid of their few ships here on the left side and take the center, for free then it's looking awesome also a uh, fun fact the nickname of the player here oxumoko is apparently the name of an aztec goddess the goddess of the night i found that out while googling the nickname hoping to find a way to pronounce it and i'm hoping my pronunciation isn't that horrible so anyway back to the game now Oxmoko is positioning himself here near Point Alpha, he has some cover from this island and he is in a perfect position to radar that destroyer. And that's what he is doing right now, so that Z-23 has nowhere to go. Uh, he can't help himself with smoke, he is just pretty much going to sink here. Poor guy. Uh, that's obviously one thing that you have to be aware of in higher tier battles. If there are cruisers with radar around, you have to play a lot more passive in a destroyer. Even if you don't like it, but if you get caught out with radar, then you are pretty much doomed. Now, Oxymoko uh, got a little bit of damage while turning around here. And there is still quite a... Uh, well, a semi-large force, I suppose, here in the north. Now, the friendlies have more ships here, but there isn't much point in pursuing those ships in the north. I guess there isn't much point in pushing towards the right side either. Now, the friendly team, they want to do as much damage as possible to the ships in the north before they can escape. And they also want to secure the center. So, ideally, you'd have some friendly battleships here taking a look at the center to stop a push. And friendly destroyers here to launch torpedoes if enemies push into Bravo. There also seems to be an airstrike amassing here on the left flank, but there are just too many friendly ships around here and they are too close together. I don't think the carrier will have an easy time striking something here. And defensive fire is a go again. He's probably focusing down the Torpedo bombers. Keep in mind that in a replay you cannot see if a player is focusing down a particular squadron. But considering the amount of attention he pays towards those planes, I'm sure he's selecting here targets manually. Friendly fighters are in here as well, and yeah, it's raining planes from the sky. So overall, looking pretty decent for the friendlies. The enemies also have lost one destroyer, which is rather crucial in domination. Now, meanwhile, the enemy team has arrived in the center and the friendlies aren't really in a position to stop them. Now, Oxymoko is still here and trying to damage the escaping ships in the north. Of course, he does have a problem if he would sail straight towards the center, he would show broadside. Now he could do so by stopping fire and drop into concealment. You really don't want to push here too far into the north. 
But on the other hand, as a cruiser, he can't really stop that push in the center on his own. He c what he can do is provide fire support. What he needs is friendly battleships here tanking whatever is coming into the center. But also would be very nice is the friendly destroyers just launching torpedo walls in there. I mean, there isn't much room to maneuver in this point. And having destroyers just spam torpedoes in there can be really, really powerful. Of course, there was a Missouri in there, I think, and maybe some other ships can detect destroyers, so gotta be aware of that as well. But, I mean, you can stay out of radar range and still launch some torpedoes into the center, so that's that. Now, I think the Shimakaze, I mean, the Shimakaze is somewhere around here and he is currently spotted by planes, which is another problem. But maybe the Shimakaze is just uh, reloading and preparing for a torpedo strike here in the center. A friendly Yamato is coming this way at least, and let's hope that some of the ships here are moving more towards the center location. I mean, the friendlies are still ahead. They aren't really pressured that much currently, but there are still 12 minutes left. And if they ignore the center for too long, it would get problematic. Now, Ximoko is focusing on the center now. The ships in the north here can probably escape now, but that shouldn't matter too much. How important is it to retake the center? So, here we see a torpedo wall. It uh, means the Shimakaze is probably ensuring that some enemies have a very bad day in there. And well, <laughs> planes are coming again, defensive fire is running again. Unfortunately that poor friendly Montana here is going down pretty soon I suppose. Now there is still no battleship here really moving towards the center. There is the Yamato coming through this channel. The Yamato is already a bit uh, damaged. But I mean he still has quite a few hit points left. So the once the Yamato arrives there is at least one tank here. But it would be nice if more battleships move towards the center. I mean those ships in the north. There isn't that much gain by pursuing them at this point. And there is an enemy Hindenburg pushing through this channel, a bad choice by the enemy. Not only is he currently showing broadside to the Des Moines, but once the enemy secured the center point, they should have switched to a basically more defensive mode. They should have just held back and tried to defend and hold their side of the map. Defending the center is a lot easier than taking it, and if you have a capture point advantage, then you are winning over time. But, you know, the enemy team has lost quite a few ships already. So it's really not looking too well for them. Now, Ximoko here is slowing down and waiting for some more support towards the center. He really wants to help take the center, but his health aren't the best and you can't really charge an Amagi in a cruiser. I mean, you can, you just shouldn't, especially if you don't have torpedoes. Now, he's asking in chat for smoke, but... Seems like the destroyer's smoke is on cooldown. I mean, the destroyer hasn't answered yet. But... Friendly ships... Well, some friendly ships went down, but there are still a lot of friendly ships... ...alive. And this Yamato is showing an awful lot of broadside. I mean, it's nice that he is pushing in here, but he really should angle better against the Yamaki. And down goes the mighty Yamato. Still, uh, the friendlies have the advantage. And while they still don't have the center, I think it's only a matter of time. Meanwhile, Oxymoku has shot down several more planes, because why not? Now, of course, this battle could easily be lost. I mean, 
there are several ships here in the north who aren't really contributing to the objective. Um, only the destroyer and Oxymoco currently have sites here on the center. And while there are some reinforcements coming by Lenny Sumo, it's not much. I mean, the Hippenburg and the Hipper, they're going the long way around, so they might not do an awful lot in the near future. The friendly destroyer, meanwhile, answered in chat his smoke is on cooldown, so no support there. I mean, the destroyer is obviously supporting with his guns and probably torpedoes, but no smoke. So that Hindenburg could be troublesome. Aksumoko is shooting armor piercing and hoping that he will see a little bit more of a broadside here. He is... and he gets rewarded, I suppose. The Hindenburg is probably trying to launch torpedoes. Also, we can see nobody is currently selecting Oxymoko, so he himself is now showing broadside. He is using the opportunity and sinking the Hindenburg and dodging the torpedoes. I assume the enemy cruiser switched to the destroyer because he thought the destroyer was a bigger threat, I suppose, but you know, you can't really show broadside to a Des Moines. And then he even ignored the Des Moines, so the Des Moines himself could use his broadside to really punish Hindenburg. Yeah, I think by now this is pretty much one. The friendlies are now capturing the center, and while they still only have two ships actually at the objective, they outnumber the enemy by so much that it would be really hard to lose at this point. Our victory is in sight. So, there isn't that much left to do. The Rhon in the north is hopefully getting sunk by the friendlies. We don't know where the enemy saw is. Oh, we do know where the enemy saw is. He's right here. Now, Oxymoko has radar active, so he can see the saw through the island. He's also spotted by the plane, which means he doesn't really have an advantage over the... Oh, he is no longer spotted because he shot down the plane. But, you know... Isao still knows he is here, even he can't see him right now, which means this could be tricky. Of course, it's also possible that Isao is coming around this corner, showing broadside and just getting sitted there. Now, the Sao got a decent salvo in, but, you know, don't show too much broadside to a Des Moines. It's really not healthy. So, only the carrier left, and after a pretty nice battle, it looks like Oxymoko can feast upon a helpless carrier. And there are some more citadels. And if he can manage to land the last hit, he can also get himself a Kraken. Now let's take a look at the results. Oxymoku managed to get 4022 base experience. Very well played. Nearly twice as much as the second player in the team. And the second player in the team was the Yamato, who aggressively pushed into the center. Turns out playing aggressively in your battleship does pay off. Even though the Yamato got sunk in the end by showing, I think, a little bit too much broadside to an Amagi, he obviously did a good job and managed to get second. Now, Oxymoko earned himself Confederate, Kraken, and High Caliber. He scored 210,000 points of damage. And he also shot down 47 planes, so nicely done. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.